HR Excellence Award 2023 This is an award uh, that has been started in the year 2021, so two years back, to recognize and promote best HR practices and knowledge. And this award is a one-of-a-kind in Nepal. Rayo award kosari ho, isko overview ki ho ta, kosari ho award pradan garin sa. Isko baare mein apni kya jankari hai, me definitely ta paar lai dinene so. And to present um, the overview of the whole award process, I would like to call upon stage uh, the chief jury of this award ceremony or, or, or the process, Professor Dr. Bijay K C. Wahan lai agar yaar rayo whole award kosto yo process ki ho banera, isko overview ko jankari dinu huna. Hami uh, Anrod Gordasong, and uh, he, along with two other jury members, I'm a jury member, Matinzana Hononthu, Maharko Barma Panijan Kari, Sir Lena Dino Huneta, and then slowly we'll be able to announce uh, the award. So at this moment, uh, let me call upon Vijay Sir to present to us the overview of the award. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I, li I like to thank Groth Seller for providing us this opportunity of selecting the excellent, excellent in different dis disciplines. Uh, in fact, while working in such event, particularly in selecting these things, we also learn a lot because this provided us lots of insight into the HR practices of Nepalese company. I don't want to talk much about the HR importance because you know it. I don't have to say that again because we have been discussing this thing for the last two days. Uh, but one thing is, for the development of a nation, definitely HR is very, very important. I remember reading somewhere, Andrew Carnegie, okay now, once he said, Take away my finance, take away my resources, take away my factory, but give me my organization. My organization, what I mean is the human beings, human resources. And the importance of human resources can never be okay, underestimated. Uh, then, when we talk about the human resource, then of course, I sometimes I remember, okay, now there is one book, Good to Great. I think my, most of you might have read that book. In that book, Jim Collins and his team have clearly said that, yes, human resources are very much important. But he said that, look, it is only the good people in the organization who are the assets. Not all the human resources are the assets of the company. Some come, some of them can be the liabilities. So, that is a big challenge for HR. Then, of course, when you talk about the HR use of HR, of course, what you need is the meritocracy. Now, in fact, about the meritocracy, okay, in the discussion also, uh, the previous speakers, they talk about the need of meritocracy, okay? So, yeah, of course, we need that. And particularly, okay, now, we talk about Singapore, and when you look at the Lee Kuan Yew, then of course, one important thing he always mentioned, always besides is the meritocracy. And of course, he also talks about the pragmatism and of course, about the honesty also. These things are very important for the development of a nation. Okay, now going into the uh, selection process, this process of this this award started in 2020, this HR Excellence Award. And then, to tell you about the process, uh, first, first thing that uh, was done by Gross Seller is forming a jury, jury committee, and this time, uh, particularly I would like to thank Mondi for entrusting me this responsibility, he requested me uh, to be in the ju jury and look at the selection process. And okay, that was an opportunity for me, I said fine. Then about four months back, a jury committee was formed. And as I did chief jury members, the convener, then up to others are, we have Son Babu 
see, okay, now he is, he is the member of that jury committee, and he has, what I found, he has very wide experience of the companies, particularly in HR. And then, of course, we also have Durga Rizalji, okay, she is academician, and then, of course, she is also in that committee. So we three uh, are the members of that committee. Then we got support from other front group sellers like Rustika and this, okay, they, they have also supported us in collecting the data, presenting the data, all those things, yeah. So, then the first thing that we did was uh, to review the criteria which have been established so far. So we look at the previous criteria, how, uh, what is the process of selecting the, uh, the best companies in different, in different HR disciplines. So we discussed that and then we decided the categories where we thought we should give the award. Okay, that was decided and then we included, of course, seven, eight different categories including uh, in HR excellence in innovation technology, industrial relation, then of course, learning and development, all those things, okay, now we consider it there. Then, after that, what we did was, for each categories, we selected 25 to 30 companies. 25 to 30 companies were selected based on the information that we have, based on the data we collected, and of course, by suggestion and feedback from others. So one thing is, unlike all the awards, there was no advertisement. All these things we decided ourselves, look at all the companies, look at their performances, and then the, the, news, the, the, the news that we get, read about them in papers, all those things. So on the basis of that, we selected about 35 to 30 companies were selected. And then, after that, what I did, uh, a research team was outsourced. Then that research team uh, was given uh, the important aspects on which they have to collect the information. So in fact, we want detailed questionnaire was also prepared. So the research team collected all the information. Uh, then the document, the document, and of course, particularly we are, we are emphasizing on the evidences. Sometimes what you find is companies, they make lots of claims, but whether those claims are justified or not. So we look at the evidences, documents, so that okay, the, whatever they said uh, are quite okay now, supported. So then for that, the, the team also visited different companies and then collected data and documents Okay, then after this, we GD committee members met several times. We look at all those data, analyze those things. Of course, we were held by the administration of uh, course sellers. We sat down and discussed. We look at all the forms that we receive. We look at all the data that we have got. Okay, so on the basis of that, you see now, uh, we particularly look at the evidences and then also ask for further information, additional information, if we felt that it's necessary. So, after this long uh, discussion, in fact, as I said, we met many times, then after that, okay, now, each jury committee member, uh, they identified the companies, then after identifying all those things, of course, we did the scoring there. We had certain criteria, and on the basis of the scoring, okay, eight jury members identified different companies, then we sat down together, and then tried to reach out a decision by consensus, and which we did, which we did quite successfully. So, on the basis of that long deliberation and effort, we recommended I think in each category we recommended three companies. And okay, of the three companies, okay, now of course the best is selected there. Okay, so that you'll be knowing in a while. Okay. So that is the okay, process that we did. 
So we have become, we try to be quite unbiased. Everything is based on data, information that we have provided to us. And then, and then on the basis of that, we have made the recommendation. So what we found is, of course, the best will be one, but it doesn't mean that others are inferior. It is not. Each company has their one, okay now, their one strength in HR. But one thing is, HR has become quite important in these companies, and these companies have, have taken this thing quite serious, and that is a good sign for the development of companies, and of course, for the development of nations. So that is, that's, that is how we, we did the selection. And then, of course, now who won that, that will present in your file. So thank you very much.